two that have been regularly hanging out this place. Yeah, try and rob us. eats the same stuff the cow does so the farmers the minute there's a hint of wild horses up here the farmers get out there pretty quickly and sort them out i think i came across um, wild horses once uh, on top of the newcastle range we'll go over it tomorrow um, they don't stick around and look at the train they do their you know man from snowy river thing where they're like and there's this big, what do you call a group of horses, a herd? I've got no idea. A flock of horses, whatever. Um, I love animals, but not so much domestic animals. I don't get them. I, don't, I like wildlife, no? I don't know, not animals. Coming up on the left hand side, the most Australian house in existence, says me. It was a post office originally, but the couple who owned it now, it was uh, his dad who bought it in 1953. Do have a few passengers take photos of them, they go hunt and paint them. Take photo of that and they send it back to them.
Yeah, did you guys see it in the, the paper, the media? Someone did then. Arthur Essie, he got a bit famous a little while ago um, because it went up for sale. The fella put it on his Facebook page. Yep, town up for sale. Uh, you get an acre, he said, you get an acre and you get three buildings. One of those buildings belongs to Queensland Rail. You can't have that. Uh, but he's trying to sell it anyway. Thank you.